Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of mobile app QR code login for the Magento 2 platform and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you the workflow for the customers so basically the customers will now be able to log into their Magento web stores using the QR code and they can use the existing mo uh, mobile app that is for the Magento 2 mobile app to scan the QR code that appears on the customer login page at the web store itself so uh, to log in now they can easily log in without the need of any usernames passwords or anything directly they can just scan uh, the qr code uh, that is there on the login page or for the web store uh, using the uh, magento 2 mobile app that they have and they'll be directly logged into their account uh, and thus uh, uh, the uh, there is a quick login to the web store without entering any kind of uh, credentials and uh, uh, the customers can basically reload the uh, the uh, uh, the login page so as to generate a new QR code for login. Apart from that, the QR code gets expired in 30 seconds uh, for security purposes. So uh, let me go ahead and let me show you how this can be done. So uh, for that, uh, let me take you to the web store front end first, and thereafter we'll uh, be making use of the mobile device itself, and then we'll show you how we can log into the store by just scanning the QR code that is there on the login page for the Magento 2 web store. So uh, right now I'm at the uh, Magento 2 web store front end as you can see here. And uh, now as I've told you that we can directly uh, log into our account uh, within the Magento 2 web store using uh, our mobile application as well for the uh, Magento 2 uh, web store. So uh, what we can do is uh, we, we need to just navigate to the login page. So I'll just tap on the sign in uh, link here on the top right hand side. And this brings up uh, our uh, login page so here we are at the uh, login page now and here you can see that uh, the section wherein we need to enter our email address and our password here just below the sign in button we have the login by QR code uh, link so now what the customer just needs to do is he just needs to tap here on the login by QR code and this brings up this uh, prompt and here you can uh, scan this particular barcode and uh, there is also validity for each uh, barcode that is uh, being displayed here basically it uh, expires in 30 seconds so what you need to do is you need to log into your application uh, for the Magento 2 platform uh, within your mobile device and uh, thereafter you need to open the QR code scanner on your mobile phone and then point your phone to the screen to capture this particular code on the right hand side and then you'll be logged into your account apart from that you can also reload the code uh, reload the QR code if it has expired so let me tap here on the reload so again we have another uh, code here uh, that would basically expire in 30 seconds so uh, now let me show you how we can uh, access our account using the uh, mobile app itself so for that what I'll do is I'll just uh, take you to the mobile end now just remember that uh, uh, as a customer you, you must be logged into your magento 2 mobile application first and after you're uh, logged into your mobile uh, application only after that can you scan and directly log into the uh, web uh, store on the uh, web itself so uh, let me take you to the mobile end and let me show you how we can do this so right now i'm at the uh mobile end right now so what i'll be doing is i'll be logging into my mobile mobile app and thereafter we'll be uh, scanning the qr code on the uh, system itself on the web browser so as to log in directly without uh, the uh, without the need of entering the email or the password there on the login screen so let me open the app first so the app is just powering up So right now we are on the Magento 2 mobile app and from the side drawer I'll be logging into my account first. So I'll just choose now for uh, that. So right now I logged into my uh, mobile uh, mobile app for the Magento 2 web store. So now to log into my uh, web browser store, web store on the web browser uh, what I'll do is I'll just uh, navigate to the app drawer here and I'll go to my account section and there at the last you can see that we have the web login option so what I need to do is I need to tap that up so let me tap that up and this brings up uh, the uh, 
QR code reader. Now I've uh, open. Uh, we have that uh, particular pop up at our screen wherein we need to scan the QR code. So I'll just refresh that up. All right. So that was much about this, and uh, we have just read that uh, QR code. And now let me take it to web store front end and let me show you that we have uh, already logged in uh, without the need of any username or password so uh, now you can see that uh, we'll be logged in automatically into our uh, store account within this uh, web browser so as soon as you uh, basically scan the qr code you will be logged into your account panel so right now you can see that we have been uh, logged in and we can now directly navigate to our account section as well. So basically this was how uh, the customers can basically log into their uh, Magento 2 web store account on the web browser by uh, just scanning the QR code on the login page. So let me sign out of the account there. And let me go back to the sign in page. So from the login page, the customers just need to tap here on the login by QR code on the bottom left hand corner and they need to scan this particular QR code using their Magento 2 mobile application and uh, before uh, scanning this particular thing they must have uh, basically logged on to the mobile application itself so after that only they need to go to the uh, option from the side uh, panel so as to log into the web uh, using this particular QR code so there's no need for entering any of the username or passwords to log into their account uh, on the web browser itself so uh, that was much about the uh, mobile app QR code login for the Magento 2 platform and uh, I hope it helped you out if you have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you may raise a ticket at webpool.uvds.com thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.